watershed is a topographically delineated area of land where rainwater collects and drains via a river system to a common outlet point, which may be a dam, irrigation system, or municipal water supply takeoff point, or where the stream discharges into a larger river, lake, or the sea. Watersheds provide water for drinking, power, and irrigation. It also provides food and shelter for wildlife. Communities living within the watershed enjoy its bountiful resources and enjoy the lakes and streams for their beauty and for boating, fishing, and swimming. In order to enjoy the continued services and amenities being derived from the watersheds, proper management and conservation techniques are necessary. This is termed as watershed management. It is the process of guiding and organizing land and other resource uses in a water shed to provide desired goods and services without adversely affecting soil and water resources. One of the many benefits of sound watershed management is the production of continuous water supply. This is especially important for power generation. Almost half of the electricity produced in the country comes from both hydroelectric and geothermal power plants. These power plants are being supported by watersheds, which play a very crucial and essential role in the lifespan of hydroelectric dams and operation of water plants. Healthy watersheds provide a good hydrologic regime in an area without the rivers and streams flowing within the watershed. There would be no water to run the turbines of hydroelectric power plants. Thus, power plants rely heavily on the availability of this natural and renewable resources that is water and steam which are eventually converted into useful electricity the sustained operational capabilities of hydro and geothermal plants therefore depend on the productive condition of the watersheds it is imperative that proper management of these watersheds is assured and more stringent measures are adopted for their protection development management and rehabilitation some benefits of watershed management to hydroelectric and geothermal stations retain electricity generating capacity by avoiding reservoir siltation, extension of the life of hydropower scheme, avoidance of the cost of raising height of dam wall with all that implies for extra inundation, avoidance of the cost of alternative generating capacity plus savings in repairs and cleaning of turbines and intake works. Everyone lives in a catchment. A watershed or catchment that has degraded natural vegetation poses hazards to the environment and the people living in it. Overclaying of forest on steep slopes exposes the soil leading to erosion and landslips, washing soil to the streams. Eroded topsoil washes into storage from cleared hills, reducing water quality and filling the storage with silt. Cultivation and overgrazing on steep slopes can cause soil erosion. Poorly managed mining areas may produce unstable landforms resulting in contamination of streams and restrictions of future land use. Cultivation down the slope is more likely to cause soil erosion and create scars in the landscape. Trees are not maintained along stream banks or on farms. Soil is susceptible to erosion by water and wind. Poorly maintained farmland contributes to soil erosion, declining yields and farm income, deteriorating quality of farm water supplies. Overclearing of trees in the upper catchment means that less groundwater is used by plants, resulting in water table bringing salts to the surface. This can cause dryland salinity farther down the catchment. Nutrients washing into the river from fertilizer runoff, sewage treatment plants, and household reduce water quality and feed outbreaks of blue-green algae. Water breaking out of creeks or rivers at high speed causes severe gullies on unprotected land under cultivation on the floodplain. Uncontrolled discharge of industrial and domestic waste can lower water quality, making it unsuitable for human use and killing fish and other aquatic life. Sediments washed down from eroded areas block the river mouth, preventing navigation and increasing risk of flooding. 
Poorly sited public facilities and haphazard use of beachfront can cause coastal erosion and destroy the attractiveness of the area. A bay polluted by rubbish and the discharge of wastes and sediments from the river is unattractive to humans and unsuitable for aquatic life. High levels of nitrogen and phosphorus from sewage, soils, and fertilizer may smoother and weaken the reef community. Fuels and oil discharge can disrupt the reef ecosystems. Overfishing will deplete fish supplies. A catchment working sustainably, forests maintained on the steep slopes protect the soil and stop it from washing into streams. National parks provide homes for wildlife and cater for recreation and tourism. The quality of water in the storage is high because it has been filtered by the forested area. The water is clear and suitable for farm, domestic, and industrial use. Pasture is maintained and only grazed lightly on steep slopes. Well-managed mining areas reduce adverse impacts, produce stable landforms, and prevent downstream contamination. Progressive rehabilitation returns disturbed areas to an appropriate land use. Contour cultivation and a system of contour banks, waterways, and conservation cropping enable the productive use of land while minimizing soil erosion. Trees maintained along stream banks help prevent steam bank erosion. Strip of trees provide windbreaks that prevent soil erosion and provide shade and shelter for livestock and wildlife. Well-managed farmland, which maintains a good cover of trees, grasses, and crops, help to minimize erosion, increase yield and farm income, improve the quality of farm water, prevent silting of streams. The maintenance of trees in the upper catchment and efficient irrigation practices on well-drained land protect against salinity problems caused by rising groundwater. Reduced soil erosion, better sewage treatment, and care when putting things down the drain help maintain water quality and prevent outbreak of blue-green algae in waterways. Strip cropping and conservation cropping practices reduce erosion on the floodplain. Treatment of industrial and domestic waste ensure that discharges do not harm the environment. A clear river mouth enable navigation of boats upstream and ensure the most efficient discharge of river water and nutrients into the bay. Carefully sited public facilities and well-managed beach provide a pleasant and stable environment for now and the future. A clear bay provides a pleasant environment for human activities and encourages the growth of seagrass to maintain a healthy environment for aquatic life. Wise disposal of all waste materials allows the reef to prosper naturally and prudent fishing ensures continued fish stocks. Under RA 6395, National Power Corporation is authorized to exercise complete jurisdiction and control over watersheds surrounding the reservoir of power plants and power projects. RA 9136 NPC shall manage and continue to be responsible for watershed rehabilitation and management. Present, a total of 11 watersheds are being managed by NPC with the addition of two watershed reservations namely Pantabangan and Magat under an area sharing scheme with National Irrigation Administration and two more watersheds Lake Lanao Agus and Pulangi Watershed Area under a memorandum of agreement with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Kami nga mga farmers dire sa sitio kasagayan dako magpasalamat ngadto sa National Power Corporation na dinhi lagi butang ang mao nga project kay kini nga project nakatabang og dako kaayo sa mga farmers dire sa among dapit nga tanumi sa kahoy nga gihatag sa napukor aron maka pugong sa mao ang yuta nga dili mabanlas ang gihatag sa NPC sa among ayuda formero ang pagtanom namo og kahoy 
kini ang among plantation sa kahoy, paingon sa among mga fruit trees o sa among contouring area para ang among mga kontor is kumukiran para dili maanod ang mga yuta seedling sa mais na para ang yellow corn hybrid seeds sa livelihood na mo dire nagbabuhat og peace pan libre ang bahog sa among isda manok na kada isa ka plant farmers upat ka buk manok ang gihatag ra nga bisaya nga manok og ang gihatag tanan sa lapukor kanamo nga kaayohan dire sa among sitio kasagayan among yuta gitamnan og kahoy sa ilang project og kami sulduhan lang gyapon minila sa among kaugali ng yuta katong The sustained capability and operation of hydro and geothermal plants depend on the productive condition of the watersheds. It is imperative, therefore, to ensure the healthy state of watersheds. NBC Watershed Management envisions healthy watersheds for sustained power generation and stable biophysical and social landscape.